During the Cold War, the submarine's main purpose is to carry enough weapons to destroy a country. The US and Soviet Union raced to create the ultimate hunter-killer machine. In 1989, the US creates a nuclear sub that blows all others out of the water. At number four in our top 10 is the US Sea Wolf. Number in class, three. Surface speed, 18 knots. Submerged speed, 35 knots. Weapons, eight 752 millimeter torpedo tubes with 50 torpedoes or 100 anti-ship mines. The Sea Wolf is arguably the quietest, most lethal, most advanced attack submarine the West has ever built. The Sea Wolf is designed to be the ultimate killer shark. Armed with guided Tomahawk missiles, it can hit enemy targets from three miles. Emergency blow. Emergency surface. Emergency surface. 20 degree up end. 20 degree up end. And because it's stealthy, even at top speeds, the enemy has no hope of tracking it down. It also has fantastic sensors. So what, what that allows you to do in a, a modern context is get close in to enemy installations like harbors, coastlines, and then sit at shallow depth without being detected, gathering in electronic information, intelligence, whole raft of things. And you can also deploy special operations forces from the submarine to swim ashore if required. It's very, very useful for covert operations in hostile waters. The Sea Wolf's mission, to destroy missile submarines before they can fire at targets. Because of its nuclear weapons, it's the most powerful sub ever built. And the Sea Wolf is also built to play the role of ultimate Cold War nuclear deterrent. But by the time the Sea Wolf is completed in the 1990s, the Cold War is over. One could say it missed the Cold War, which it largely did. But given the revival of tensions between the US, Russia, and China over a whole raft of issues, the Sea Wolf, I'm sure, will certainly be giving very useful service, despite the fact that it was designed for a Cold War mission set. The Sea Wolf continues to patrol the seas today and makes it into our top 10 at number four.